Jalen Dern selected for Team USA Select along with Cade Cunningham. Just the experience, you know what I'm saying? Being around the best players in the league. Um, you know, learning. Tim, you wrote that there were rave reviews, right, coming out of camp, and not just for the guys that are on Team USA, but for one in particular who's on the select team. What more can you tell us about Cade Cunningham's weekend? Cunningham was dominant for the select team in scrimmages on Friday and Saturday. The number one pick in the 2021 draft, who only played 12 games last year, he has a stress fracture in his left leg. He had to have surgery on that injury. He missed the last nine months. But seeing him back out there in a competitive setting, he looked like he didn't miss any time at all. He was getting into the lane and hitting his teammate Jalen Duran from the Pistons with passes for buckets. He was really, really impressive. But if you're a Pistons fan, very encouraging signs from a guy who missed all of that, just about all last season with the way Kate Cunningham played here over the past few days. Yeah, it sounds like Duran has held his own, more than held his own. It's like people around here know how smart of a player JD is. But like what I learned, see, hearing Anthony Edwards talk about him and say like, he even said like, I don't think people know how smart of a player he is. So like uh, those guys are starting to catch on. Uh, I think that the Pistons will utilize his, his intelligence and his passing ability a lot this year. Been a lot of interesting things happening. The one that I read with great interest, however, above all the others, was not even about the Team USA roster. That was the story that you wrote after watching the select team play the, uh, the senior team, I guess we'll call it. Being out here at Team USA camp, seeing him both Friday and Saturday in the scrimmages that the select team played against the senior national team, he looked great. He was tearing Team USA apart. He was getting Jalen Brunson in the post doing whatever he wanted. He was hitting Jalen Duran on duck in uh, passes for laps and dunks. So real quick on Jalen Duran, he, he flashed some post moves. It wasn't just him catching lobs or getting easy dunks. He was using his strength, using his body to clear some space. He was pulling down some tough rebounds against Bobby Portis, Jaron Jackson Jr., Walker Kessler, any big man they threw at him. He was, he, he, he made his presence felt very, like he made it known who he was. And one of the things that, that other people who were there wrote about was his ability to get where he wanted on the court. Uh, and by routinely, as Bontemps just mentioned, beating his man. And uh, that is most important because that shows life in the leg. But from what I understand, that bounce in the leg, which is what you're worried coming back off of a leg injury. I think he said to you, Bontemps, that he had no worries about that leg that that injury had completely healed and he felt good about it. And while you thought he added muscle, he actually was at the same weight. Uh, so he just added some muscle mass, um, but still looked pretty quick. But if I'm a Pistons fan, seeing him bulked up, but not in a, a heavy way, like just bigger and stronger and getting where he wanted on the court, I think he's got a chance to have a really nice year for them this year. And it was just a reminder that this guy who was sort of out of our mind this past year because he wasn't on the court is still very much in play in Detroit and I think he's got a chance to be very, very good. Fantastic. How do you feel? I'm happy to be here. So, so. To be in an environment like this, playing at a high level, you know what I mean, in the offseason, whenever you know, be anywhere playing. So it's, it's a lot of fun. I'm trying to take the most out of experience. How, long, how, how difficult the season was it for you men to deal with? Sitting now and have to deal with the shit, so it's not going to be able to be back out now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it wasn't fun, but I learned a lot. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I, I took a lot from the season. I learned a lot from my, about my teammates, about the game, about the NBA. Um, 
I think it's gonna help you know, prepare me for this next season. So. I'm just making the most out of the opportunity, really. Yeah, just one final thing. Obviously, you guys had a busy summer. Hiring Monty, obviously, yeah. Travis Nassar. What do you, what do you think of Monty hiring sort of the way to see the season? Super excited. I think Coach Williams coming in, I was, you know, I feel like that's the best case scenario for us, and we got it done. Um, and then the young guys that we got coming in are really going to help us. I'm excited about them. They're great players on the court and also really good people and people that I'm excited to work with. So it's going to be a fun year. Awesome, man. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. You too. Yeah, thank you. Good, man.